Hi, it's Lee and welcome to the Tesla Economist. What is Tesla worth? What is a real valuation of the company? Well, here's a little secret for you. No one has a clue. I don't think even Elon knows. We are certainly in very strange times in the Teslaverse. There's no denying that. People all over X trying to either grab as many shares as they can and go more all in, or others waiting for it to bottom out at 100 and then go all in then. None of them know, and they're all basing it off the same exact information. I've been throwing all my doubts and theories at them relentlessly on X and reading every single comment I get and analyzing all the psychology of the community on where everyone is coming from. Various investors are inferring the current situation differently. However, the large majority will come out with every single platitude under the sun of why now is the best time to load up on more Tesla shares. But their main reason, to summarize succinctly in one word, is patience. You just need to be patient and you'll be rewarded heavily. In the Tesla investor community, it is wrong to try and aim for short-term gains or ever take a profit. It means you don't deserve to be an investor if you're not willing to wait. And the community will even tell you to sell your shares if you're not happy with how Tesla is performing or the behavior of the CEO. Then Tesla isn't the right stock for you. Sell now. Now, firstly, forget the fact the stock is the same price from nearly two and a half years ago already. That patience doesn't count. It's the future you have to be patient about because we will have bots. Everyone will want to buy a $25,000 bot that will do the laundry for you and clean your house. And Tesla will be worth $10 trillion then. You'll get almost 20 times return. Every $50,000 you put in magically becomes a million dollars in 2030. Oh wait, sorry, no. Patience is also a moving goalpost. None of the fanboys any longer adhere to the 2030 magical year when all riches will be revealed. Now it's up to around 2035 or so. So not only do you have to be patient, you have to be patient to a moving goalpost. It all just takes time, a little longer than we thought. But don't worry, Elon makes the impossible possible. But just a bit later than he says, because he will come through. And we know this is true, because Elon tells us his anecdote about how he used to be late for the bus when he was a child. Now, if someone used to be late for the bus, then obviously they're gonna be late delivering things that are impossible too. It all makes sense. Actually, not all bulls have moved their goalpost. I kid you not, I was watching one YouTuber briefly the other night who has well over 100,000 subscribers and well known in the community. He even follows me on X. He said, Tesla are still going to deliver 20 million cars a year by 2030. And not only that, the ASP will be $45,000. I've said many times, I don't believe in the mission and that perhaps if Tesla can still get to around 5 million cars a year, then it's probably a valuable company. However, these days, I struggle to even see a path to 5 million cars right now. But no one even seems to care anymore. Because actually, it's about FSD. FSD will save the day. Tesla isn't a car company, except for all their profit, of course. It's an AI robotics company, also known as the next bubble. Yes, FSD is making great improvements. Each time we see it get better and better, which actually means nothing at all. It seems to be only me countering this rhetoric, but progress on FSD means nothing. It's not quantifiable, by which I mean it is no indication as to how much closer it is to being solved. And obviously, Elon is the worst indicator on that too, with so many false promises in the past. What matters isn't how far it's progressing from where it was, even if FSD 12 is twice as good as FSD 11, it's still meaningless unless we know how far left we have to go. I seem to be the only person who's come up with something measurable. I think it needs to be capable of driving perhaps about 7,000 consecutive times without crashing. A human drives perhaps 700 times a year. Remember, people drive to work and back from work. And how often do they crash? Perhaps every 10 years? Then that's about 7,000 drives without crashing. Our current average FSD drive might be two without crashing. Some people might have experienced five or so in some of the areas like San Francisco, where Tesla has a lot of data. But remember, even if they achieved five, that would be the top score. 
and we're talking about averages. And many people have never even experienced OneDrive without having to stop FSG from crashing. So perhaps from where we are, we need a 3000 times improvement. Like I said, if FSD 12 is twice as good as 11, it means nothing. And this fact still remains to be debunked by thousands in the community. I mean, even if it only needed 1000 consecutive trips, we still have a hell of a long way to go. I can't value FSD into Tesla because it isn't close. It's just an impressive ADAS system. The real value is when you can watch YouTube in it and not pay attention to the road. And then as for robots, well, we aren't even close to any AI with that yet. So pointless discussing. And energy, the narrative is that that's ramping and doing really well. I do not understand these people. I keep saying Q1 2023 deployed less energy than Q4 2023. There is no progress over the last year, which leaves us with cars. Model Y has clearly hit beyond saturation with inventory at all time highs and prices inevitably having to come down sometime this year. Model 3 Highland has done very little to improve demand from China. And although there was a slight thousand dollar price increase for the Highland in the US, there was also downtime in the factory reducing supply. The Cybertruck appears to have a plethora of issues. You can't drive it in the rain. You have to clean it continually. It has sharp, dangerous edges. The range is nothing like advertised. It's useless for towing any decent distance. It doesn't seem to be ramping. And we're already like 10 or 20% the way through the alleged 2 million back order. I think it will just be a drain on cash flow all year, but it is early still. So we have to see how it pans out. And then that's it. Nothing new coming out aside from the alleged compact car, probably by 2026, if things start moving sometime. And this car, I don't have high hopes for either. I don't think it will outsell the Model Y. I give it a million orders a year at best. But even if it's twice that, then so what? Toyota will still be making two and a half times as many cars as Tesla. So why should Tesla be valued that much more than Toyota? Oh wait, there is the other issue that by Q1, something like 90% of Tesla's income is from taxpayers in the form of credits and subsidies. This could end up any time, especially if Trump got in, he's not a big fan of electric cars and could put pressure on that going, resulting in Tesla having negative free cash flow. I don't know how likely this is, but it doesn't change the fact that Tesla will soon only be profitable due to taxpayers supporting it. So what's Tesla worth? Well, if you add up the intrinsic value I've mentioned above, then probably 50 to $100 billion. And there are many people out there with around a $69 price target. But the company would only be valued at that if investors saw it like that. They don't. You have to get into the psychology of what everyone else believes. They believe Elon is God and can do absolutely anything, even if late. I don't know why. In reality, he hasn't really done anything that impressive. Tesla had a big head start and others are catching up and surpassing Tesla now, especially the Chinese. Also, Tesla did this with more capital and superior engineers than the competition, not to mention a huge head start. So of course they should have made some impressive progress. It's just logical. These diehard fans can't see anything else but hope. Hope of this amazing renewable clean future. Hope that they'll be multi-millionaires. They can't let go. It's like they're in a cult. And I know, because I was also in it. I'm still heavily emotionally invested in Tesla. Doing a startup has been great and allowed me to focus my purpose elsewhere, but I still struggle to let go. Anyway, maybe I'm wrong and these people can see something I cannot. Who knows? Or maybe I'm right and the stock price will still soar and reach all time highs or a thousand dollars before perhaps eventually crashing. But either way, there's nothing much that will improve the financials for probably at least the next two to three years. By which I mean, there's absolutely no way we will see close to enough profit to fill Tesla's valuation. In other words, this is a trader's dream, given how volatile the stock is, how crazy Elon is, I'm just gonna keep trading it one way or another for the time being. Tesla's value is based on these people's dreams who think that Tesla will go to the moon or Mars or whatever. I'm not saying these people are stupid either. Some are very intelligent. However, X has definitely built an echo chamber and anyone who goes against it gets attacked or just told to sell your shares if you have an opinion to the contrary. I mean, what could ever go wrong with investing sentimentality like that? It's a collectivist society. I'm trying to stay off X as much as possible now and get on with my business. I think it's a massive waste of time, addictive and feeds cheap dopamine. 
which I think is unhealthy anyway. Anyway, their sentiment gets stronger and weaker at times, depending on all sorts of factors. But like I said, Tesla's profits can't increase significantly in the short to medium term. So the stock price can only stretch so far before it gets ridiculous. And as for this latest buying opportunity, I will admit I didn't get it, as long as we're excluding derivatives. However, I wasn't in too much of a hurry because everything is pointing to a big sale on the stock price after Q1. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe.